to everyone. Welcome to Advent Blessings. This is your Pastor Eddie. Our last week of Advent. Sacrifice is for this day. Our daily readings are Luke 1, 46b-55 and 1 Samuel 1, 1 1-18 and Hebrews 9, 1-14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, which through the eternal Spirit, offer himself without fault to God? Purge your conscience from that works to serve the living God. Hebrews 9, 14, a meditation. Not a lot of people subscribe to the sacrificial theories and aspects of religion anymore. So, the book of Hebrews is not likely to be part of most people's Bible reading because it is so sacrificially focused. Yet perhaps the truth in its pages is to speak of the extreme measures it takes to get our intention and to bring us back to the fold from our wandering. In our wandering we tend to get bogged down in the less than important that that works. And for sure, there are. In the here and now, our that works might seem like the most important things in life. But that works do not serve God. I hear in the passage that the Holy Trinity offers the Christ, the Messiah, experience to us humans in order to draw us into grasping a greater God than ourselves and into greater service to the living God. We aren't called to pile up mountains of money or debt for material things or to ignore the needs of humanity. We're called to the treasures of compassion, humility, love, patience and worship. Our journal reflections. What did work? What I mean, what that works are occupying your time or thoughts. Most of us nowadays would say God does not need any sacrifices. But how could we cut loose the attachments we have to all the material goods and assets we accumulate? Does not serving the living God requires a sacrificial giving of our time, money, and lives. Where do you feel the sacrifice the most acutely? Remember the lady the last which she has in the offering block in the temple. And then you have the scribes and the Pharisees who showed to everyone what they were put there to show off. The hypocrites. But this woman that is so gentle, so humble, and she gave everything when she had. We cannot say we don't have money. We cannot say if our closets are full of everything that we can put on every day, different clothing and whatever. We cannot say that we cannot buy. I'm not talking about the movie stars. Hear me out, okay? Don't think 
that there is a problem too. And I'm not criticizing, I'm just giving examples. It's about the matter of the heart. As in the other meditation, I was asking, don't put God in a box. Don't put yourself in this limitation that everything is measured according to yourself, not to the measurement that God has given you is all to you. Let us pray. Dear God, as you sacrifice yourself to get our intention, let that not fall on ungrateful and insensitive hearts. Inspire and empower us to bring back to you full measures of what you've given to us in Christ's service. We pray. God's blessings. This is your pastor, Yeti. Blessings.